Hello all, Chris Oliver here again, laying in bed in my underwear, saving the world. Well, what can you do? So, uh, I've learned some things in the last 24 hours that are uh, quite interesting, uh, quite relevant. Uh, demons have been breeding with humans now for uh, at least 100 years. 100 years. And so, what this means, well this means two things. This means some of us uh, quite likely have some uh, demon in us and are not aware of it. Uh, if you have... Uh, a predisposition to uh, psychic powers or are highly empathic it, it's likely you do uh, and this is no big deal you are if you are feel human in your heart you are human there's nothing to worry about it's it's it, it's a strange blessing in a weird way um, <clears throat> but the more important thing that I learned is uh, these half demons the, the half demons that are still more demon uh, they also cannot lie but if you ask them, are you human, they can say yes. But if you ask them, are you completely human, they cannot say yes. Uh, you think of this much like if you had a German man and a Japanese woman, and they had a child. Well, you could ask that child, are you German? And they would be able to say yes. If you ask that child, are you Japanese, they'd be able to say yes. But if you ask that child, are you completely German, well, they couldn't say yes to that. So. That's what I've learned today. Uh, I went out and I uh, went to a synagogue, which is actually one of the places I uh, reinforced this knowledge. I went in and uh, I thought I thought Jewish uh, gatherings were on Saturdays, but I'm told they're actually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Didn't know. Didn't know. <laughs> I'm an agnostic. They don't tell you these things. Um, so I went in there today. Today is a Saturday, and there was just one worker in the hall, and uh, you know I introduced myself and. Uh, kind of told them while I was there, the, the short version, that I have a message I have been tasked to deliver. And uh, I told him I had to ask him a silly question, and I asked, are you human? And he said yes. And uh, and then I said, okay, one more silly question, are you completely human? And he just instantly starts going off about how they're closed and no one else is there but them, and I really need to leave right now. He just And I asked quite comfortably, is that something you, you're not comfortable a answering? And he would, he wouldn't even acknowledge that question. He's just like, "Oh, you need to go," and blah blah blah. And uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking for confrontation. I'm not, you know, this, this is not about confrontation. This is just about awareness. So I just politely asked him, you know, when was a good time for me to come back uh, to speak to a rabbi? Shook his hand, and uh, and I left. I did get a little bit of footage made uh, while I was out there, but it's just me standing outside of a synagogue, and this is pretty much the short version of it. Maybe I'll release that footage at some point, but this pretty much sums up the story. So, uh, if someone's showing all the signs of being a demon, and that's, you know, people who are overcritical, people who are inexplicably angry, uh, people who are obnoxiously loud, um, alcoholics are quite likely, uh, the, the people I know in my own life who are most definitely demons have all been <coughs> alcoholics to some degree. Um, sometimes you can tell with the voice. Sometimes the voice is just too perfect, like the voices you hear on the radio, they're just a little too perfect, like they were generated by a, a really good algorithm, in, in a way they are. Um, so, these are clues, uh, don't use any of these clues as your basis, really your only absolutely surefire way, surefire way to know is to ask, are you completely human? That's, that's really the simple, easy way to it, and they still cannot lie to you, they cannot hurt you. You do not need to hurt them. You do not need to try and trap them. You just need to make them aware that you are aware. That is all this is about, awareness. I love you dearly. Please be well. Please ask the silly question.